this is Greg Deckler for Enterprise DNA. Uh, and last uh, last month, I uh, presented uh, a presentation at the Business Intelligence Summit for Enterprise DNA of 2022 uh, called DAX Counterculture. Uh, and in that presentation, it basically provided some alternative views on DAX, um, some of them very alternative, I suppose. Uh, one of the main ones was that you sh calculate, you shouldn't be using calculate. Um, or especially if, if you're new to DAX, calculate is a really complex function to understand and use. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble with it. Um, it makes certain assumptions about your data model. Uh, and in that presentation, I kind of picked on uh, Microsoft's quick measure for running total that comes out of the box um, because it doesn't work in single table situations. Uh, it really wants you to have a star schema for it to work properly. Um, and I presented in, you know, presented, hey, there's an easier way to do this in that works in if whether it's a star schema or whether it's a single table model or whatever it is, and you don't need calculate to do it. So this presentation is going to kind of pick up uh, where that presentation left off to a certain degree. I'm going to pick on another uh, Microsoft quick measure called average per category. So if you are in uh, Power BI desktop, you can say new quick measure. You can go here, average per category. You can select a base value. And in this case, I chose like value. And then I chose like my month column uh, for the category. So the concept here, right, is in this in this visual, I've got my quarter as my axis. So first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. And what I want to do is I want to take uh, the values that are, you know, I want to sum up values for every, each month and then take the average across those values. OK, average per category. That's the concept. So the data model for this is very simple. Here I have a table and you can see I've got uh, a date, a value that's randomly generated. Um, and then I have my month column, my month sort column and my quarter column. And I have the same thing in my dates table. So it's just a calendar table and it has month, month, sort, quarter. So I can choose my quarter or my month from either dates table or the, or the table. So now the good news with average per category is that it actually works uh, regardless of whether you have a single table model or don't have a single table model, you have a star schema. So in this visual, as you can see, I'm using the, my quarter from my table. And in this one, I'm using my quarter from my dates table. And, and it works either way. The problem with the average per category is simply the DAX code. This DAX code is weird. All right, even if you're a DAX pro, you're probably going to, the first glance at this, you're going to be like, wait, what? Um, because it's just an odd construct in terms of you have a calculate statement that with no filter clause whatsoever. It just wraps a sum statement, um, which is not typical. And in fact, you know, it blow, you know, it's one of those things, it's one of those pet peeves of mine when I see people out on the forums and they're, they, they've just got to calculate that just wraps a sum for no reason. Um, in this case, it actually has a reason. But, you know, <laughs> it boggles my mind when I see that, that stuff um, because, you know, it's just an immediate indication that, that they have no idea what they're doing with Calculate and just stay away from it. Um, but anyway, what they're doing here is they're they're using keep filters, which is not in a Calculate statement, which is, again, weird. Um, keep filters, you read the documentation, it's like it's built for use in Calculate uh, statements. And then they're using values, which I don't agree with. They should never use values, use distinct uh, values uh, has a tendency to return a blank row if there's a non uh, a blank if there's a non matching row um, and that can get you in a lot of trouble but that's a subject for another video um, so I have a lot of problems with this um, <laughs> with this but essentially what's going on here they're using a values uh, function to get get all of your categories right so in quarter one January February March um, they're using a keep filter statement um, because when I you know so that the returns a table values also returns a table but they're using that keep filter statement um it also returns a table so you it is valid in, in as a first parameter in average x um and then they're the reason why they're using the calculate is then it actually is executing within the context to keep filters um because of the way average x works it takes the second expression and executes it within the context of the first expression so it it works okay the but somebody new to DAX, and I think Microsoft really missed the boat when, you know, when they were creating these quick measures, because the quick measures, in my opinion, are for people that are new to DAX that 
that, you know, that's the intended purpose of them. And I think they're a great idea. You know, hey, let's write some measures, some common, you know, different calculations for you because you're new to DAX and you don't know, you know, everything there is to know about DAX. So, but why would they construct them in such weird, complicated ways? Like, how is somebody new to DAX supposed to take a look at this and, and, and figure out what's going on when even probably DAX professionals would are scratching their heads a little bit over this one. Um, so I think they really missed a golden opportunity uh, to help people learn DAX uh, with their quick measures by, by insisting that they include calculate um, and having to jump through hoops in order to get the calculate in there. It's like somebody was like, hey, I could solve this in five minutes, but you know, oh, well, it wouldn't include calculate function. So let me spend the next three months figuring out how I can work calculate into the calculation. There's a better way to do it. There's a far easier way to do it. Um, and it's very simple, right? I take my, I create a table bar. I use summarize to take my table. I summarize it by month, create my value column, and I, you know, sum up my values. And then I take an average X across that. Simple. There's, there's, this is so much more logical. You know, and doesn't no, it doesn't include calculate, but you don't need it. Um, so some people, there's a blog article out there that's say criticizes summarize. Summarize is pretty complicated the way it works internally. Um, and you can get yourself into trouble in like one specific case that you'll never run into. Um, and it generally involves you have a very complex calculation going on over here and a very large table. Um, and summarize can give you wonky results. At least that's what the blog article claims. That's fine. So don't so don't use summarize. Use group by. Nobody has a problem with group by. So group by again. Group group your table by your month. Create a value column and use a sum x where you use the current group, which is how group by works, and you sum your value. And then you again take an average x across it. So does it return? Is it successful? Right? Is it does it do what, what it needs to do? Well, let's unhide these two visuals shrink up these panes. And so as you can see, yes, it returns the same numbers. So either one of those formulas returns 3.4 for quarter one, 3.6 for quarter two, 3.4 for quarter three, 3.5 for quarter five. And again, it works in a single table data model, where I'm using quarter for my table. It also works in a star scheme where I'm using my quarter for my dates table. So I have no idea why that color just changed, but whatever. <laughs> I think I selected something. There we go. Got it back. All right. So again, you don't need to use calculate. You don't need to force yourself into into like this twisted context logic, you know, just to get calculated into your formulas. Just use simple standard DAX functions, um, and you can achieve the same things. There's no reason for calculate. In fact. Probably in 80, 90% of the cases, there's absolutely no reason why you need to bother with using calculate for anything. So that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to explore this PBX file, I've actually published this out to the Quick Measures Gallery, Better Average Per Category. Um, if you scroll all the way down, the, and, and I go through and I rant a little bit about a lot of stuff. And then I have down here a PBX file that you can download and you play with it yourself. So that is the end of this video. Hope it was helpful and I will see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.